Once you've completed a visual and physical inspection, it's suggested you take a closer look at all suspicious objects, devices, or locations using a few counter surveillance tools that are easy to use and, best of all, affordable. They'll be used to find the surveillance devices you were unable to locate with a visual inspection. Let's review. Radio Frequency RF Detector. Most long-term surveillance devices need a way to transmit information back to the surveyor. An RF detector works by scanning the area in search of devices emitting radio waves. Once detected, they'll produce an audible tone that fluctuates as the detected device is closer or further away. This will continue until you're able to locate the device emitting the radio waves. Camera Lens Detector what about standalone devices that save information to SD cards? For that, it would be beneficial to have a camera lens detector at your disposal. A camera lens detector works by detecting the reflection of the light off of the lens of a recording camera. When using a camera lens detector, the lens of a camera will sparkle or illuminate on the viewing screen, indicating that a camera may be present. If you're looking for an all-in-one device that has the ability to detect both RF and camera lenses, the LawMate Defender DD802 would be an excellent choice. Turn off emitters. Before beginning your sweep with an RF detector, it's important to ensure all devices that could possibly emit an RF signal are fully and completely powered down. Be sure to power down all cell phones, Bluetooth devices, laptop computers, tablets, etc. It's also a good idea to test your RF detector before your sweep by turning it on and sweeping over your cell phone. If your RF detector is able to detect the frequency being emitted from your cell phone, it's functioning correctly. Paint the walls. Pick the edge of one of your quadrants and start painting the walls. Painting the walls simply means slowly and methodically walking up and down the walls to scan them visually and with your RF detector in a painting motion. As you complete this process, you should also visually inspect the walls for any sort of disturbances or unusual anomalies. At the same time, keep an ear out for your RF detector. Paint the walls until you reach the end of your quadrant. If nothing's detected on that pass, mark that quadrant clear for any transmitting devices and move on to the next one. You should also repeat the same process using your camera lens detector. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights and look for any tiny lights that seem out of the ordinary. Most spy cameras have indicator lights that'll tell the user if the camera's recording or powered. If the surveyor neglected to turn these indicator lights off, you can use their mistake to your advantage by easily detecting them and locating them. Use your phone. In order to record video at night, most spy cameras will need some type of infrared technology to illuminate the scene. One quick and cost-effective way to detect infrared light is by using the front-facing camera on your phone. To try this at home, grab your TV remote and open the front-facing camera on your phone. Next, point the front end of the remote at the camera and press any of the remote buttons. The infrared light that's normally not visible will be completely visible on your camera screen. Infrared light is easy to conceal and hide from unsuspecting victims of surveillance. Keep this in mind when conducting your suite. With the tips in this video, you can find the tools you need to carefully check your surroundings for recording devices. If you'd like more info about surveillance and hidden cameras, then visit our site today. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.